okay student in this video we are going to study about the colligative property students what is colligative property colligative property are those property of solution which depend on the number of moles of solute or the number of solute particle this colligative particle uh, property do not depend on the nature of solution it do not depend on the nature of so, solute sorry okay so now there are some colligative property which we are going to study in this lesson the first one is relative lowering of vapor pressure of the solvent the second one is the depression in freezing point of the solvent the third one is the elevation of boiling point in uh, boiling point of the solvent and the fourth one is the osmotic pressure now let's see the relative lowering in vapor pressure of the solvent now for that i'll show you one uh, experiment that is suppose i will take two close container okay now in this container if i will take solvent for example i have taken this water okay okay this water i have taken in this container i have taken water okay now at some temperature if i am giving heat to this container so what happened the particles of water molecules that is water molecule which are present on the surface of this liquid okay this will get vaporized okay this will get vaporized and it will produce vapor pressure over here okay now the vapor pressure exerted in this solution is only by the water that means what by the pure solvent that is p naught okay now same container i am taking same amount of water also i am taking here also solvent as a water i am taking same temperature i am giving over here but now i am adding 1 gram of 1 gram of solute that is i am adding here salt okay so what happened here when i add salt in that so that time on the surface of this solution some sol solute particle are also occupy the space that means what this space which here they which is occupied only by the solvent molecule here it is occupied by the solute and the solvent molecule now when I apply heat at the sa same heat i am applying that time the vapor exerted is only by the solvent molecule okay now the vapor pressure exerted in pure solvent is greater than the vapor pressure exerted when i add a non volatile solute is is okay is less okay so here this is called as lowering in vapor pressure that means what when we add a non volatile solute in a pure solvent the vapor pressure of pure solvent is decreases this this is called as a relative lowering of vapor pressure now let's see the derivation derivation as we know by raoult's law by raoult's law which we have already learned okay p1 is directly proportional to x1 okay p1 is directly proportional to x1 therefore p1 is equal to p01 x1 okay now the relative lowering in vapor pressure relative lowering in vapor pressure of solvent is given by delta p okay now delta p is equal to delta p1 is equal to p01 minus p1 here p01 is the vapor pressure of the pure solvent and p1 is the vapor pressure of the solution when the non volatile solute is added okay now here we will put the value of 
p1 over here from this this from this equation this is equation number 1 we will put the value of p1 that is p not 1 x1 okay now we will take out common p not 1 is equal to 1 minus x1 okay now here I'm, okay so as we know the sum of mole fraction is always equal to 1 therefore x2 is equal to 1 minus x1 so now we will put this value in this equation instead of 1 minus so here delta p1 is equal to p not 1 into x2 okay now let's compare the equation 2 this equation and this equation okay so we will get the value that is p not 1 sorry p not 1 minus p1 is equal to p not 1 x2 okay means i have uh, compare this equation and this equation equation number 2 and equation number 4 okay now now we will simplify this equation p not 1 minus p1 upon p not 1 is equal to x2 now from this equation it, this equation prove that that the relative lowering of vapor pressure is equal to its mole fraction or it depend on the mole fraction now where x2 is the mole fraction okay now if we want to uh, find out the um, okay x2 is the mole fraction so we will take out the uh, formula of mole fraction over here we will write the mole fraction so p1 is equal to p not 1 so what is the formula for mole fraction the it is mole fraction of the solute particle therefore the number of moles of solute that is n2 upon n2 plus n1 okay now for a dilute solution for dilute solution n2 is very very less than n1 therefore we will neglect it in denominator neglect it in denominator okay therefore our value become p not 1 minus p1 upon p not 1 is equal to n2 by n1 okay now by putting the value of x2 means here okay we get this value fine now what is number of moles now what is the definition of number of moles number of moles is equal to given mass upon molar mass okay so for p not 1 minus p1 upon p not 1 is equal to w that is w2 upon m2 okay and this n1 is equal to w1 upon m1 okay now this is the equation of relative vaporing relative lowering of vapor pressure and this formula is used to calculate the molar mass of the solute